Good evening to you. We're turning now to your extended forecast here on KSBY News. This is a shot of Avila Beach from earlier today. All thanks to 805 webcams. This is a gorgeous view of Avila Beach indeed. Our regional radar shows that we did see an upper low affecting communities up in Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. However, locally, we didn't see any rain in the forecast. We saw mostly sunny skies, but we are seeing those night to morning low clouds and fog. Here are the temperatures across the nation right now. 85 in Houston, 76 in Orlando, 74 in Washington, New New York 71 in Chicago, 74 in Denver, Salt Lake City 104 in Phoenix, 68 in Los Angeles and 62 in my home of San Francisco. Locally, we are seeing temperatures in the 60s in the deep interior, 63 in Cuyama, 64 in California, 66 in Shandon, 61 in Santa Inez, low 60s in Isla Vista and Santa Barbara, 66 in San Luis Obispo. Within the last 24 hours, temperatures bumped up four degrees in Santa Maria, it bumped up two in Santa Inez, it bumped up three in California Valley and Cuyama and it dropped two degrees in Santa Barbara. So here's what's going on across the region. We're seeing a dry southwesterly flow that's going to prevail over the area through the remainder of this weekend and we are in between this persistent upper troughing that's off the Pacific Northwest and we are going to see a mid-level ridge over the south central states. So we're going to continue seeing warmer conditions mainly in the interior, but temperatures aren't expected to bump up until next Tuesday and Wednesday. So right now we are seeing those night to morning low clouds and fog affecting our north coast beaches and our coastal valleys. And we are seeing those clouds starting to creep into the Santa Inez Valley and overnight we are expecting to see those clouds starting to reach into the interior. So expect to see cloudy conditions tomorrow. Luckily, by the mid morning, we are going to see mostly sunny skies with those clouds starting to push back onto the coast. We are going to see onshore flow, so we are going to see cooler conditions for communities near the coast. However, the deep interior and other interior valleys we will see warmer conditions during the afternoon hours and then we'll see another round of night to morning low clouds and fog affecting our north coast beaches and our coastal valleys for Sunday night. We are seeing sundowner winds currently affecting the south coast at this time. We are going to still feel that slight breeze later tonight and during the overnight hours, but wind gusts are not expected to pick up by the mid morning into the afternoon hours as we are going to see onshore flow starting to reach out into the interior and affect the south coast again by we sing another round of those sundowner winds. Here's a closer look of what we're seeing right now. We are seeing winds at 49 miles per hour in Refugio 40 along the Gaviota Pass, and we're going to continue seeing these sub advisory level winds within the next hour. And luckily, these wind gusts are expected to settle down during the overnight hours into Sunday morning. So here's what we're seeing over uh, in the Gaviota Pass for tomorrow. We are going to see those winds reaching up over 30 miles per hour later on tomorrow night. So it is going to be quite windy for this weekend. Here are the temperatures for tomorrow. 108 is the high in Palm Springs, 92 in Bakersfield, 89 in Fresno, 87 in Sacramento. We are going to see a high of 92 degrees out in Paso Robles for Sunday, 77 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria, 71 in Lompoc, 74 in Santa Barbara. Our North Coast beaches will be a little cooler, ranging throughout the 60s and 50s. 93 in San Miguel, 72 in Avila Beach. As we head down to the five cities, temperatures will be ranging throughout the 60s and 70s, low 90s in Shannon and California Valley, the Santa Inez Valley. We'll see a high temperature in the mid 80s, 88s in Cuyama, 74 in Goleta, 67 in Carpinteria. Here's your 70 forecast. Again, we are going to see warmer temperatures mainly in the interior, and then those temperatures will be picking up on Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see triple digit heat by Tuesday and in Paso Robles. San Luis Obispo seeing temperatures in the mid 70s tomorrow. Santa Maria again also seeing those low clouds and fog during the morning hours, but then we'll start to see that clearing by the mid morning into the afternoon. Santa Barbara seeing temperatures reaching up into the 80s by Tuesday. Temperature outlook shows that we are expected to see some warmer conditions throughout the region towards the end of the month. Precipitation outlook shows that we are going to see some rain in Northern California by the end of August.